Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sirenet Television. Chris is on the other side of the studio and he has in his capable hands a 295 SLSA1 siren amplifier. Have to read the script. Going to be taking a look at an overview with the young lad himself. Hey, Chris, what do you got? Come on, show it to us. Thank you, Stuart, and thank you for joining us on SirenNet Television for a look at Wheel and Engineering's 295 SLSA1. The fixture that we have here is a self-contained siren amplifier, and it is designed to work in conjunction with one or two 100 watt speakers. So depending on how much noise is needed for your application, you can go ahead and pair it up with one 100 watt speaker or two 100 watt speakers. For affixing this into your application, if you're using an aftermarket equipment console, this can easily affix into a faceplate for a nice clean console drop-in flush mount mounting application. Or for folks that are going to be using these in something without an aftermarket equipment console, there is a hanger bell bracket included. So this will let you affix the 295 SLSA1 onto a factory console box or under the vehicle's dashboard. The 295 SLSA1 includes a connected microphone, and with that, it lets you do broadcasting through the PA and also radio rebroadcasting. So if you have a radio inside the vehicle, it can be tied into this unit and through the radio rebroadcast, which you can select on the front face with the rotary knob, you can reproduce the radio in car through the siren speakers. And for keeping the microphone included on the 295 SL SA1 cleanly mounted and stashed away as needed, it includes a cast aluminum microphone hanging clip. On the back of the 295, there are two ports to tie in pigtail wiring connections. So nice thing about the wiring harnesses, they are a quick disconnect. With this, you have tie-in trigger wires for your speakers, your in-vehicle radio, and tying it into power and ground to supply current to this fixture. You can then also tie in hands-free, so you can activate siren torns through the vehicle's steering wheel, and also additional inputs such as a park kill. So with that, you can take this, take a park kill module, and wire it in so that when you shift the vehicle into park, it'll automatically disable the siren tones. So a nice little feature that can be partnered up with this. For controlling the tones as needed, very straightforward to do on the front of the face here. Master switch for activating siren tones and a rotary knob for letting you go through and make different selections as needed. So with that, you can select manual tones and you can also go through and select tone one, two, and three. Neat thing about the 295 SLSA1 is that you can go in and do your own siren tone programming. So depending on the tones that you're wanting to do through your vehicle, you can go ahead and customize them. Nice feature with this is there is a push button inset on the back aluminum cast housing heat sink fin system and that is a scan lock push button. So when you're going through programming the siren tones, very easy to do. Just take a small screwdriver or a pen or paper clip and push the button as needed, selecting different tones. On the front of the fixture, manual push buttons for manual control of the siren tones and air horn tone as well. Also a volume control knob, so this will let you control the broadcast volume for the PA microphone. And also inset is a small radio volume adjustment. So again, when this is tied in, doing radio rebroadcast, you can actually adjust the volume. So with that, you can adjust the pitch that it's producing the sound level at. As you can see, very clean, very compact. Protection on the back with its own inline fuse, so if you ever have any problems, go ahead and check the fuse on the back of the unit. A neat feature that Whelan has done with this 295 SLSA1 is that they have tied in a pair of indicator lights on the front face. The indicators will give you diagnostics on both the voltage that the 295 is seeing and the speaker connections. So when you start the system up, if there's anything weird going on with the electrical system, you'll have an error indicator light or if there is something going on with the siren speakers, again, an indicator light will flash, letting you know that you need to check something on the vehicle. And here's an example of several siren tones the 295 SLSA1 will offer.
So there you have it. 295 SL SA1 100 or 200 watt siren amplifier from our friends at Wheelan Engineering. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me. Back to you, Stuart. Well, thanks, Chris. As always, thanks to you for watching Sonic Television. I'm Stuart.